Good morning. Uh, thank you, Chairman Thune, Ranking Member Peters, uh, for your interest in automated vehicles and your leadership on this issue. And certainly thank you for the opportunity to speak in front of you today about uh, key steps for creating a much safer and more efficient transportation system for the United States of America. The American Center for Mobility is a nonprofit public private partnership. That's a mouthful. We are building a world leading facility for innovation testing and product development, and to act as a national proving ground for automated vehicles in Ypsilanti, Michigan. First and foremost, we are focused on safety, on public safety, including testing and validation of these technologies, including vehicles and infrastructure. In addition to testing, our mission is to accelerate the development of standards, voluntary and federal regulation, that is, and to provide educational opportunities for the workforce of the future, for STEM, K-12 programs, and the public in general. Our past transportation system has served us well over the last 100 years, but is showing signs of strain. Every year we endure a national tragedy of tens of thousands of Americans, individuals losing their lives on our roads in the United States. That's the numerical equivalent of 10 September 11 attacks or seven Iraq wars every year on our soil. In many cities, we see ever-increasing congestion with accompanying loss of productive time, loss of time, wasted energy, and unnecessary greenhouse gas emissions. Largely, we have, become, we, we have come to accept these as the status quo. It is clear we need a significant change in our transportation system going forward, and safety must be everyone's first focus. Uh, my colleagues and, and, the, and the chairman have, have, uh, have cited the statistics. I won't, I won't do that again. But it is clear that this technology can help by reducing human error. In addition, transportation really is the lifeblood of our economy and our society. The ability to move people uh, efficiently and goods is critical to the social and economic well-being of the U.S. and will help us remain competitive with other international economies. Because of this promising safety potential and economic benefit, the U.S. should focus clearly and specifically on developing and deploying connected and automated vehicle technology in a, in a responsibly expedient manner. AV technology is being developed very rapidly by uh, industry, as we know, but also aided by key frameworks from, and research from government and academia. Other countries, uh, including China and the EU, uh, are currently working on HAV programs, very significant programs. Uh, our voluntary standards have proven to be a key early step in the development of almost every safety technology. These voluntary standards often form the basis for federal FMVSS. Therefore, it is critical to accelerate voluntary standards in order to ensure safe deployment of HAVs. Uh, SAE, the Society of Automotive Engineers uh, International, has begun to promulgate basic standards, but many additional voluntary standards are needed immediately, including scenario catalogs, test procedures, mapping, labeling, cybersecurity, to name a few. The complexity of AV technology will require innovative thinking for testing, simulation, validation, and certification tools to support these vehicles and infrastructure. Voluntary standards must also be accelerated for purposes of avoiding a patchwork, um, as even a small number of differing or conflicting regulations would significantly inhibit the development of AV technology. Consumers' interests would not be served if they could op not operate their vehicle or share a vehicle across state lines. Certainly, differing standards would put the U.S. in a compromised position compared to other countries and regions around the world. It may be prudent to consider the adoption of a federal FMVSS framework standard that establishes key foundational requirements, such as definitions, manufacturer identification, uh, reporting processes, et cetera. However, it is too early to promulgate detailed vehicle performance or equipment standards as the needed technical requirements to do so are not sufficiently developed. And currently, there is no agreement within the technical and stakeholder community on the nature or specifics of such requirements. USDOT's Automated Vehicle Proving Ground Program, AVPG for short, uh, is important to the development, the safe development of HAVs. The AVPG program, with 10 designated sites across the United States, provides key infrastructure and framework for the development of AV tools, products, standards, data sharing in, in, in a rapid and collaborative fashion. These proven grounds can form the backbone of the federal government's framework for supporting HAVs. This uh, program will be a critical asset to ensure the focus on safety in HAV while, remaining, while ensuring the U.S. remains competitive. Uh, the need for HAV data collection will continue after initial deployment, and exemptions are important to allow that data generation. 
According to USDOT, a number of existing FMBSS contain requirements that conflict with or do not allow basic HAV design. In order to enable early product development uh, and regulatory data gathering and to enable HAVs in general, it is important that Congress and USDOT review that authority and implement a solution for exempting compliance of a sufficiently substantial number of vehicles. It does remain imperative for HAVs that the petitioner demonstrate that the exempted vehicle provides an equivalent level or better of safety through sufficient data and analysis. In closing, I'd like to offer three following recommendations. One, USDOT be authorized and funded to create collaborative voluntary industry standards to support safe deployment. Two, the AVPG program should be funded as important infrastructure for HAVs. And lastly, Congress should consider revising NHTSA's exemption authority and ensuring appropriate FTE headcount to implement these key programs. I appreciate this opportunity and look forward to your questions. Thank you.